welcome back and uh, in a previous video we have just seen our software layout and uh, now we are going to uh, discuss the connectivity scenario that um, we can use in this course so how we can connect our device uh, biometric device uh, either it is on a lan or either it is on a van so So the device connectivity uh, on a LAN and on a LAN, WAN. So local area network and wide area network. So this is local area and this one will be via wide area network. So if we connect on our device on a LAN, which is a local area network in your premises or in your same network within the premises, so what IP scheme, there must be an IP scheme that we can go and go configure on devices, router, either in the switch and or your peripheral device, uh, your PCs and other devices, peripheral devices, just like printer, scanner and all that. So what the scheme that we are going to, to do with, so if we uh, see, is a scheme that normally we are used in our private uh, network. These IP schemes, uh, you may you have to consider that these are IP schemes are not routable. They cannot be configured on a, uh, uh, they cannot be route on a router, or you may see, uh, they cannot be route on a internet. So these are the private IP schemes that are going to configure on a private uh, your premises network so that's why these IP schemes are always configured on a LAN so one was is class A you normally not uh, can be familiar with these classes there are three classes of more than uh, D and for uh, A B C D so these three classes are reserved for a uh, private networking uh, Anna is given that uh, uh, allow the these IP scheme you can go configure on your private network. So they cannot be, these IPs cannot be routed on a, um, your internet. So if, as uh, far as the class A is concerned, so you have, you may, you have a network of uh, IP scheme 10.0.0.0 and to 10.255.255.255 and So somehow uh, if you have a large private uh, LAN network, so you also can configure a scheme 172.16.0.0 So as, as well the most famous scheme in the private uh, IPs on a LAN. So it's on 192.168.0.0 to 192 255.255. So loopback IP is 127 is always our loopback. We may call a loopback why because we can test our IP on that loopback. So the IP scheme of 192.168 we will configure on our uh, LAN network. So th this is the scenario that we are going to discuss. So as far as is WAN is concerned, wide area network is con concerned, we have to get a static ip or live ip or public ip so the isp you are using you are getting the internet from your isp so you have to buy uh, this ip from your isp so static and live and public ip both are the same in category so so this one we can get on from your usp so uh, now let's discuss our LAN. Okay, what scenario will be one can be figure we can figure out on LAN. So let's jump to our next slide. So this is a LAN model. So we have uh, let me so we have uh, so I am very poor in my drawing. So I face 702 biometric machine and this machine we will configure uh, through TCP IP RJ45 connector and will go to that machine and this connector will uh, go to switch. You may 